Hi, my name is Rod Howe from UnitedTax.com and I'm going to walk you through the process of using the app GoodReader to download various items from United Taps. This app works on the iPhone, iPad, and iPod. Unfortunately, the iPad and iPhone have separate versions. So I'm running an iPad, so I have the iPad version. First thing you'll need to do is get the GoodReader app. Currently, it's priced at $4.99. There is a free version, but it's only for enterprise applications, so it's not the one you want. You're going to have to pony up the $4.99. Once you have the GoodReader app, go ahead and open it up. And this is the opening view. You want to go to Web Downloads, right there. When you click on that, you get a new pane where it says Browse the Web or Enter URL. We're going to click Browse the Web, and we get a web browser you want to navigate to your email. So I'm going to go up here to the address bar. I'm going to try to go up here to the address bar. There we go. Select all delete and I'm going to go type in gmail.com because I have Gmail. If you have Yahoo Mail, you can go to yahoomail.com or aol.com, whatever email provider you use. You're going to use this web browser to get there. Then you want to open up your email. You receive from United Taps and find the download links. So here we are now if if you have the option you want to download the mobile universal version if that's not available for the given item you purchased just download the Mac version. So we're going to walk you through uh, several different items and how to handle those. First we're going to start with the dictionary sample so if you purchased the dictionary or if you purchased an album or a set of albums this is going to walk you through the process of what you do with those files. So what I'm going to do is tap and hold. Well, let's try this again. Tap and hold the link next to the dictionary. That's not what I'm looking for. Let's try this again. There we go. And I'm going to click copy. So I'm just copying that link. From here, I'm going to go to the top left corner and click back to my documents. And now, where it says enter URL, I'm going to tap there, and it automatically pastes that link I just copied right into this white uh, little form field, and I'm going to click OK. And right here, you're going to see my download starts. This is a test dictionary zip file. Uh, what a zip file is, a zip file is a way to package several different files together so you can send them uh, through the internet as a single download. Uh, so it's a nice way to do that. Uh, this is just a test file for the dictionary, so it doesn't have all the videos. If, if it had all the videos, it would take much longer to download. Uh, so this just has a, a few videos in it. And once it finishes up, I'll show you how to open it up. All right. There we go. It's done. I'm simply going to tap on it. So you can see, after I tap it, it shows up here on the left side. From here, I'm going to tap it up on the left side and I get the option to unzip it. So I'm going to click on unzip. Right now it's going to unzip that file and then right above it you see the unzipped version, dictionary sample. All right. At this point if you wanted to delete the test dictionary.zip file you could or if you want to save it you can do that too. Um, but up here's the folder that you're going to want to use, the dictionary sample. I open it up, I've got level 1 and level 2. Now the full dictionary has six levels um, with hundreds of videos, but to keep that download a little bit shorter, I only put in a, a one video for level one and two. So I click on level one, and here I've got my video. Of course, you'll have a much longer list. But if I click on that video, it plays right there, real nice. And when I'm done, I can click done up here at the top left. It takes me back to this list. If I want to go back to my folder list, levels one, two, three, etc., etc., that's all I need to do. All right. So that is how you handle the tap dance uh, video dictionary or an album. So if we have an album, it'll be in zip format and it'll unzip to a folder like this. And when you click on that, it'll have all the songs. All right. So it's the same basic process. All right. So let's move on. Let's go back to browse the web and it takes us back to our email. Now we're going to, we're going to go through the process of downloading just a standard video, not a, not a package of videos, but just a single video. So I'm going to my, go to my video sample link. I'm going to tap and hold. I always have trouble doing this. Tap and hold and click copy. 
And from here, I go to the top left, back to Downloads. Then I'm going to hit Enter URL. It already pasted it. All I have to do is hit OK. And you can see testvideohd.mp4 is downloading. Again, it's just a short sample video, uh, an actual video like if you purchased a lesson or a routine. Uh, those are, can be fairly large files if you get the high def ver version. So those may take a little while to download. And as soon as that download finishes up, which is any second now, it should pop up on the left hand side right there, test video, uh, HD MP4. All I have to do is tap it and boom, it's playing. Just like that, I can pause it. When I'm done, I just click done and I'm back here to my main list. All right, so we're gonna go back to browse the web. So I have one more file type I wanna show you. I've got a uh, music sample here. Now, there are going to be some occasions where you just want to download a single MP3 music file. So, all you're going to do, again, tap and hold the link. No, nope, still can't get it the first try. Here we go. Come on. There we go. Hit copy. Then, click back to downloads here at the top left. Click enter URL. Click OK. Now, this is just a song, so this should download pretty fast. That's just a few megabytes. I think my connection's a little slow right now. And as soon as this song downloads, it should pop up here on the left side, just like the test video did. From there, we should be able to tap on it, and it'll play the song as simple as that. There we go. Test song. Tap it. Got a nice little pop-up player here. Can hit pause if I want. And when I'm done, I hit close. And that's all there is to it. So this is how you can download content from United Taps direct to your iPad or your iPhone or your iPod. Now there is one drawback. If I click the home button here and I go to the native video player app here, you'll see it says no videos. The native video player for the iPad, iPhone, or iPod will not recognize the files that we downloaded inside the Goodreader app. All right, it's, as, it's as if it doesn't know they exist. If you want the native player to uh, view those files, you'll need to download those files to a computer first, put them into iTunes, and then sync your device with iTunes. And if you do that, they will show up in the native video and music player apps. But I kind of like it this way, to be honest. It keeps the tap content separate from everything else. And then whenever you want that tap content, you just go straight to the app, and boom, it's all there specifically for tap. You got your dictionary and your videos and your music and so forth. All right? So again, this is how to download content directly to your device using the app Goodreader, um, which is currently priced at $4.99. My name is Rod Howell from UnitedTaps.com, where we're teaching the world to tap dance.